Hey, it's Daryl from TechCrunch, and I'm here with Adam from Leap Motion, and we've got uh, what do we got here? Google Maps. Excellent. Yeah. So this is uh, Google Earth. Oh, right. Uh, okay. Working with Leap Motion. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've been working with Google over the past couple of months for this type of integration. Uh, so they're using the Leap Motion SDK mm -hmm. uh, for this integration specifically. Cool. So you can control it with the Leap is right here, Excellent. right? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Cool. You, so, uh, can I go ahead and start yeah, operating so, it? So what you want to do is kind of uh, probably better with your left hand. Your left hand, want. okay. Uh, if you put your hand over it, if you make a fist, yeah. nothing's going to happen. So just put it about six inches above the device. Okay. That's where we've set the neutral area. And when you op slowly open your hand, just release, be natural, and just release it. You oh, can see yeah. it immediately starts to move. So you move your hand down a little bit. You can see it starts to go down. And if you move your hand forward a little bit, you'll start to move forward. Oh, wow. So you can start going down more. You can start zooming in. And if you start tilting your hand up a bit, you'll start changing the view left and right. There you go, you're doing great. It's really easy. This yeah. is the first time I've ever used this. Yeah, and it's and this is set up specifically this interaction model for Google Earth. Wow. So nice. it really gives us the whole idea of like flying through. Yeah. Depending on the UI and what the user is trying to, the developer is trying to get across, the interaction model might change. But this is really taking advantage of the, the precision and the accuracy that the Leap Motion device gives people. If you're using something like an everyday browsing, we're going to be releasing that uh, alongside the device. And if you're looking to do more gaming or looking to do more just like everyday interactions, you can do that as well. So how like how fine is it detecting right now in terms of my hand motion? So I, I can tell like I'm making very slight yeah. movements. So, and this is even using a slight neutral area, so it's not always moving. You can find a place where it won't move uh -huh. while your hand is open. Uh, but you can get down to some millimeter tracking. And it's tracking anywhere, usually around 130, but up to 290 frames a second. Wow. So any slight movements you make, even when you don't realize you're moving them, the device knows about. So this feels this feels pretty ready to go. Yeah. But but this isn't shipping, right? <laughs> so so this is using the SDK. There's some, some more polishing and some more testing, like we mentioned. Yeah. Uh, that we're looking to push forward with. Uh, so we're going to be opening up a beta in a, in a couple of weeks. So all the people we have, have about 10,000 to 12,000 developers using our kits. They're going to be able to test out the new uh, OS level interactions as well as each other's apps that they're building. Oh, cool. So this is more about getting consumer feedback, basically. Exactly. Like we we want the, this to be a magical experience right outside the box. So the experience that you're seeing today is going to be across the board for the apps, and everything that you're going to be using with the Lead Motion. Awesome. And I noticed you guys also had uh, an Oculus Rift here earlier, right? Yep. We missed that. But what, how is that working with, with the Leap Motion? Great question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so we've been working with the Earth team, and they, they got a hold of an Oculus Rift headset uh, last week. Uh, so when we were setting up, uh, they decided to kind of hack together a version. It's different than Earth. It's actually using uh, Google Maps and using the JavaScript API from Leap Motion. Okay. So in one night, they put together, they never used the JavaScript API, put everything together uh, for a demo here uh, cool. at Google I.O. So and the the new Google Maps, yeah. you, like Earth is integrated right in there. So is yeah. that something that you guys see? You know, you could build this kind of thing right on top of Google Maps now. I mean, technically, what they were showing was that. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Uh, it's it's something that you know Google like really wants to make sure that the interaction model is is, is what they expect out of all their different properties, like just like Google Earth. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's something that if they decide to move forward with, it's up to them. But it's not. Uh, not my decision. Cool, but it is possible. Uh, it's, it's, I mean, it's definitely possible. Using the JavaScript API is something they can do. Um, it's something that they've proven here. Awesome. All right, well, thanks very much. No problem. Take care. Oh.